All right, so hopefully you guys are digging that little music video sequence. I got a question. What if I told you guys I filmed that entire sequence by myself? Would you believe it? Today, I'm gonna give you guys five tips on how to film your own music videos yourself. New York, New York. New York, New York. So the first tip I'm gonna give you guys is just have the right equipment. You want things like a tripod, a DSLR that has a flip out screen, even your phone or a monitor. Now you want those things just so you can help with framing and you want a steady shot. You know, the tripod is just gonna hold your camera steady and that helps with switching up your angles. And the monitor or flip out screen is just to help you frame yourself and get everything in shot. So when you hit that record button, you're good to go. Now the second tip I'm gonna give you guys is film multiple angles. Now this is where your tripod comes in place. In my case, I use my DJI Ronin SC with the tripod attachment and I just move that to wherever angles I need it. Angles. If you was filming this music video for someone else, you would be setting up different angles, right? Apply the same technique. First thing you guys could do is just get your wide shot, you know, set your tripod up for your wide shot, put yourself in place, hit record. Get your medium shot, set your tripod up at a different angle, hit record, get yourself in place. So in a nutshell, that tripod is there just to hold your camera steady and get the shot. So now the third tip I'm gonna give you guys for shooting your music video yourself, shooting 4K. So how does shooting in 4K help? All you have to do is just open up a 1080p timeline, take your 4K file, throw it on that 1080p timeline, and you have so much more room to work with. You can move your angles, you can zoom in, you can zoom out as wide as you get and keep full resolution. I suggest you guys shooting 4K and use those files to reframe all of your shots. Now the fourth tip I'm gonna give you guys for filming your music videos yourself, it's keyframing. Keyframing pretty much just helps us achieve those small micro movements that we might receive when we're shooting handheld or flying on a gimbal. Keyframing just helps us with the small details that you might see. You know, you can make micro adjustments, you can make large adjustments, but that's where keyframing comes into play. Now the fifth and final tip I'm gonna give you guys for filming yourself, shooting your own music videos, shooting your own vlogs is automation. Use the built-in software that comes with this new technology. I feel like we're in a technology boom where we are allowed to be empowered by all of this technology around us. You got sliders that can automate itself. You got cell phones that can track you. You got drones that can track you. Use that stuff to your advantage. The automation that's built inside these new film tools is amazing and very useful. So hopefully this video helps some of you guys. All you have to do is just get real creative, man. Get those creative juices flowing. Use these tools and just think outside the box when using them. And uh, that's about wraps up today's video. It's uh, Joey Papers Visionary Art Group. Future Proof in America, one YouTube video at a time. Y'all know we powering the independence. Y'all know my motto, man. The world needs visionaries. Be a visionary. Peace. 80s baby, my grandmama's baby, this little Joe from Dirty Town, Miss Nisi baby, I been on the go, on that road, eating crazy, I got an old soul, feel like I been preaching lately, to get on that liquor and get in my feelings, I just want these millions to get to my chilling, get my own.